Hello guys, today I'm going to start construction of my space station in the new version of Kerbal Space Program and I'm also trying out a new video recording software so let me know how it looks if the sound levels are alright and so on and so on and so on I know there's a watermark I will be probably if everything's alright buying the full version of this program very soon and we'll be able to record a lot more games then but I do need to test this out and see what you guys think so in this video we're gonna get the main hub of the space station up into orbit and we're gonna launch the another capsule and dock it to this so that we have six crew members in orbit dock together around the central hub to act as the construction crew for the modules we will then add to this central hub so yeah there are a lot of changes in the new version of Kerbal Space Program you, I'm not gonna be doing an overview of those although I will probably explain a few of them as we go well as you might have realized Docking is now included in the game, so we can make space stations. If you really want to see a list of all the new features, you should probably look for someone else's video on this subject. There's bound to be one somewhere on YouTube. Okay. So. And unless I'm very wrong... Yes, those are draining, so that is not good. Whoops. That shouldn't be a problem. I've redesigned this somewhat. Uh, I removed a set of external tanks here, and the fuel was feeding from these into those, and then into the central stack here. But it's not going to be a problem, because that also removed a lot of weight and a little the small decrease in efficiency is not going to change anything now these engines now function differently you can no longer run them at full power fuel is divided into liquid fuel and oxidizer we have electricity monopropellant for RCS these now burn for longer but they are weaker and there's a lot of rebalancing and the whole game looks and feels quite a bit different but it's really a lot better so yeah now we have double length fuel stacks and fuel tanks and the whole thing has been rebalanced so I think it's actually easier to get into orbit with the new part balances so that's nice anyway this offers the new features allow well they give you a lot more options and well you get the idea right those are our launch tower pieces fair enough okay let's throttle down take a look at our map and I'm right we are pretty high well we have a sufficient altitude so we can just turn ourselves horizontally and accelerate which we're gonna do in a second should have more than enough fuel to make it into orbit and then some yeah I have gone ahead and built a geosynchronous satellite system to so that we can stay in so that we have a constant uplink to our space station because it's gonna be orbiting at a lower altitude and it's n not always gonna be able to communicate with the space center so I thought a satellite grid if only a primitive one well and that is being annoying let's turn the RCS on and we just passed into space you can tell cause the music's 
turned on. Yeah, lots of music in the game now. It's really rather sweet. I really like it. But right now we need to turn and yeah, another cool new feature. You can plan maneuvers out in advance and we'll be doing that at some point but not right now probably when we do a moon mission because yeah I will do a moon mission with two command pods a lander and a command pod you know the main craft will stay in uh, space while we land with the lander and then we'll rendezvous afterwards you get the idea like the Apollo mission did or Apollo mission since there was more than one obviously and we want a manageable altitude there so we are can maneuver around things easily enough so we'll want say about 400,000 and that did not turn on as I expected. Alright, activate that then. Separate. RCS off. Yeah, those four are gonna be in orbit forever now, aren't they? Well, whoops. Well, so much for that then. Yeah, we're gonna be keeping a capsule in space dock to the space station so that the crew can whoa, uh, return to Kerbin in case of emergency. Just a three man capsule with enough fuel to return our crew to Kerbin. Really rather simple. So yeah, here we have our original three Kerbinauts in this vehicle. And we'll have another three in the other capsule and they're gonna be the crew that will you know set up the space station. I'm gonna deorbit the these three later on but the other three I'm gonna leave in orbit to act as a permanent crew for the space station. So this is in orbit right now what we need to do is go to the space center and 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 we need the return vehicle power pod. Why do I have a power pod? Oh. Okay. Where's the return? Damn it. Definitely not the... Oh, crew pod. Okay. Let's load that. Hope this... All oh, right, this was the one with the nice small manageable size rocket. Okay, so these have enough thrust to counter the gravity and then a little bit and these are what gives us our initial acceleration. Well, you'll see. These have about enough juice to keep us going when we are in motion these are the ones that actually get us moving but the fuel is gonna drain this is gonna get lighter and it's gonna be fine yeah you see four engines mounted on a central fuel tank it looks really cool actually and this is the smaller fuel tank for the orbital stage and yeah if you have a decoupler and an engine it now adds a covering for the engine automatically which is kind of cool and these thingies 
are RCS tanks, incidentally, and this is of course a docking port. Speaking of, set as target. There. And detach. We decelerate for a tiny bit, but we should be fine in a second. I think, yeah, we're evening out, and here we go. We are going to be adding a refueling pod to the space station so that ships that dock there can refuel, so, you know, not going to be a huge deal. We're going to be fine anyway. So, it's cool. Okay, this is going pretty nicely, and we need to start our gravity turn. And those are parachutes, radially mounted parachutes. New component. Very nice. Yeah, and even the old parts have gotten a nice retexture, some of them, and it looks really awesome. I really like the new look of the game. I've always taken this kind of semi-seriously, so the more serious look to the game, I, I find that they really suits my playing style and I'm really enjoying this. Also, there once you have set a target, the speed thing, you can set it to three settings, one of which is speed relative to target, so that helps immensely in docking and this shows your direction towards target. Now, not... well, you know, your whatever not the direction towards the space center so that again is improved and very nice it's really a neat feature it's gonna make docking far far cooler yeah see this is draining a lot I mean this shows the total amount of fuel available to the engine but since they all share this this one tank it's draining at a quarter of the speed that well you get the idea this is draining slower because these well when it shows the fuel available to the engine it would show this tank and this tank but since this tank is shared among four engines it drained a lot faster and we have nearly gotten enough speed to get into orbit nearly I'm looking at speed not trajectory so right now we need to detach and accelerate and burn for orbit which we should manage relatively s easily since we have nearly all the speed we need and we have pretty much nothing on here except the capsule and an engine with a minimal amount of fuel and a tiny bit of RCS but really it's pretty light configuration for so this engine gives us a lot of acceleration since it's pushing very little weight so you know even though it's pretty weak it's not that weak compared to the weight it's dealing with so we're gonna be fine okay yeah interesting orbit there We're gonna wait until we hit the apoapsis and then we're gonna deal with the orbital stuff. Yeah, and the orbiting really won't take a lot of fuel, so say if we have 100 liters of each of these left, it should be fine. Slowly heading out of the atmosphere, slowly. Relative speed to target. Ooh, accelerating since we're on the opposite side. Well, no, we're not actually. Interesting. Yeah, and shows you the direction you're moving, and well, yeah, you get the idea. It's very nice. We're almost out of the atmosphere, so we're going to be able to tower properly. Okay, this is a weird orbit, but and we're in space. 
but it's gonna be cool yeah so it's gonna show us well it's gonna show us our intersect with the target's orbit you'll see in a second first thing we want to do is get into a stable orbit and then we can start screwing around with the well that and before we do that we also want to get into a stable orbit uh, sorry we want to catch up to this somewhat so yeah since we are in a lower orbit we are moving through our orbit faster than this thing is moving through its orbit so when we are at the apoapsis maybe we can burn maybe uh, well another half orbit I think burn at periapsis then we'll climb into a higher orbit with the Hoffman transfer orbit which means essentially you push your periapsis out to so you push your one side of your orbit out to the desired altitude then when you get there you push out the other side and you're there so 400,000 nice manageable altitude so yeah having space station at that altitude allows us to catch up to it at a lower orbit and um, okay intersect separation that's not bad so it shows you the separation the position of the target at the intersect and the separation you will have when you actually intersect so as you can see it's not that bad and once we okay okay so now we're gonna accelerate uh, adjust this so now we are just gonna circularize our orbit mostly gonna okay that increases the sep that decreases the separation actually we are at that or we could just burn until we have a nice low separation I suppose okay so yeah we want to go into a slightly higher orbit than Okay, never mind. Well, how are we doing on fuel? Okay, need to think here. Could just sink orbit, I suppose. Okay, lower, lower, lower. Okay, okay, yeah, it's freaking out, but okay. If you watch my videos where I rendezvoused in the previous version 7, well, wow, 1.7 kilometers, that's like right next to it. That is perfect. That will do just fine. See, this targeting system is really awesome. And since we're really close to the target, it's all showing our speed relative to to the target. We're gonna cancel that out, then we're gonna give ourselves a tiny nudge towards the target and we're almost at our closest approach so we're gonna start moving away from the target after we hit this so we want to cancel this out so that our orbits match. If you're not right next to it and you're not moving relative to it obviously you're on the same orbit. Whoa that was weird okay so there now these overlap and we're heading towards the target at 2 meters per second 
There it is. There's our target. We are gonna try and set up a docking maneuver. So, first, well, maybe I should have added some lights on this thing to make it easier, but we should be able to manage. Whoa, okay. Let's shift this in this direction. Getting closer. Yeah, now that we have this indicator and we know our relative speed target, getting close to sound it is a lot easier than it was in the previous versions. Okay, at this point we might want to consider switching to... Whoa! Yeah, at this point we kind of have to switch to RCS. So... Break, break, break. Okay, shift that. We need to head upwards. There we go. We want to pass it by and then 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 come in from this side. There breaks. Now we want to turn towards it like so, so that we are coming in from the right direction ok, RCS on ok, nearly cancel that out gonna switch my camera mode to chase camera so that I can so that that does not shift as we time warp and here we are we're heading in for our first docking maneuver well I've done this off screen obviously since I don't want to look like a fool on the internet but But okay. No, 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 no. That won't do at all. Okay. Like this. Now stabilize, stabilize. Now we're... Whoa! Yeah, that's me pushing the wrong button. Break! Okay, we want to align this well nigh perfectly. Accelerate slightly. We'll slam on the brakes in a bit. As you can see, we have plenty of monopropellant left. Brake, brake, brake. Yeah, a bit downwards here we go docking will that yeah this does not have any indication indicators here actually yeah this is something we do not want okay back off wrong direction don't screw this up. Yeah, we need to turn like this. 
make sure we're properly aligned. Straight in, I think, more or less. Okay, turn those off and okay. Now, yes, the first stage of the construction process is done. We've docked our construction craft. So, there it is. First docking maneuver successfully completed. Okay. Okay. So, here we are. SAS off. Kill the wobble. Oh, yeah. Oh, we really don't like that. Okay, and now, if we so wanted, we could transfer fuel. How much does this need? So, anyway, press Alt, click, Alt, click, and click. Transfer in, transfer in. And that leaves us with about enough fuel to the orbit. Okay, one. Hmm. Huh. So I can't transfer to multiples at once. That would be annoying. Oh, frack. Whoops. Well, damn. Uh, yeah. That's a problem. Oh, well. Some of them had to stay up here anyway. Whoops. Eh. That's just how this game works. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this, we're gonna continue next time, and let me know what you think.